Hey guys, this is me again. Just so you want to know that this is the 8th episode of Logo History, Logopedia. For this episode this time, I'm going to take a look at WGBH TV, and I'll take a look at all the logos here. For WGBH TV, it's a kids network you use for every country for this television station. And I'll show you the real plot. For the reason why, the real point is that every television state in which WGBH it has been born since 1956 and includes everything in this because it's a children's network suitable for every age and also adults too. But anyway, so on, without further ado, let's get started. Just so you know, sorry about history there, I just want to make this quick. Anyway, 1956 to 1972, we have the WGBH family. This one includes the man, the mother, and the children. This one is called WGBH on the right. These were used in Baldinic font. This one was designed by Chris Pullman. It was launched on October 11, 1956, and that's why. 1971 to 1977, we now have the four letters in bold. This one is from New has Girls in Bold with the letters W, G, B, H, and Black Text. This was designed by the same author who included the W, G, B, H family. This was launched on July, June 27, 1971. 1974 to 2020, this logo with the W, G, B, H and Queer. With a bolt surrounded, hex surrounded in all the insides. The reason for WGBH's most famous and best known logo consists of the company name with a double drop shell on both sides of it. It was designed by Chris Meredith and Gizmar. The logo's first on air appearance occurred on March 4, 1974, during the series premiere Nova. A network idea was produced in 1977 by Chris Pullman. Despite being replaced in the 2020 logo, this logo is still used in tandem with the said logo and was also used for on screen variants until October 1st, 2020. 2020 to the present, they officially changed their name to GBH. The design is from Mainly Inc. Its hypergraph is short, sans extra bold. It was launched on September 1st, 2020. Re Recently, WGBH rebranded its on-air identity as GBH, using a modified version of its iconic 1974 logo, removing the W, and using the sharp sand font. The rebrand was designed by Nelly Inc. Nelly Inc. and reflects the station's prominence beyond radio and television. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Welcome to your logo, Pia. Just so you know, I'm going to do the next episode since one person requested this thing. Also, I'll see you later in the future update for next episodes. Goodbye for now.